Good morning, everyone. I'm Jan Carabeo with your morning digital news brief for Saturday, February 20th. One person is dead and four homes are destroyed in a three alarm fire in Trent, New Jersey. Flames broke out around 1:30 this morning on Elm Street. Crews found fire and smoke on the first and second floors of that row home, and one person was trapped. Firefighters pulled that person from the flames, but it was just too late. That person died. The fire quickly then spread to three nearby homes. Multiple people and their pets were forced to leave. One animal also died. A man is arrested after Philadelphia police say he abducted a family in their own car and then stole a second car. It all started just after 8.30 last night. A delivery driver for City View Pizza stopped to make a delivery at Broad and Erie with his wife and two children in the car. Police say that's when another man jumped in the, into the car and drove off with the driver's family still inside. The family and their car were eventually found at 21st and Spring Garden. They were not hurt. Police say the suspect then stole another car and led police on a chase through South Philadelphia into Center City. Police arrested that man at Frank Franklin Square Park. Philadelphia's first 24 hour COVID 19 vaccination clinic is now open at Temple University's Leah Core Center in North Philadelphia. Eyewitness News spotted lines wrapped around the block as people stood waiting for hours to get their shots. The Black Doctors COVID 19 Consortium is running the 24 hour walk up vaccine clinic. The Vaxathon wraps up at noon today. Now to the eyewitness weather forecast. Here's meteorologist Matt Peterson. Hi, Matt. Hey there, Jan. Going to be a dry weekend across the Delaware Valley, which is nice, but it will still be very winter like with our temperatures. Winds are starting to pick up as well. That will be the big story for our Saturday. Wind chills that will be very uncomfortable teens and 20s for the most part. Yes, a couple of flurries could hang around, but that would generally be just towards the Poconos. Then sunshine for us on Sunday, but another chilly day as we'll probably only have high temperatures once again in the 30s. So here is future weather for our Saturday afternoon. Sun and clouds, we're getting up into the 30s for highs, but again, feeling more like the teens and 20s with the wind. As we go through the nighttime hours tonight, those skies will clear out. We'll drop it down probably into the teens early on Sunday morning, and then we'll rise up into the mid-30s in the afternoon without quite as much of a uh, breeze. And it actually does look like we could get a couple of extra clouds then as we head towards Sunday night. A Monday storm then is going to be in the works. It's impact are going to be kind of a wide ranging here, anywhere from the shore where we could have some plain rain to some snow mixing with that rain eventually at times through uh, Philadelphia and the suburbs. And then in the uh, Lehigh Valley and the Poconos, it does look like it could stay cold enough on Monday for just all snow. So when it comes to that snow accumulation, a coating to maybe two inches across Philadelphia and points to the north, that could maybe eventually get washed away with some rain and then two to four inches of uh, some wet snow up towards the Pocono Mountains. 33 degrees for today and then 30. 36 tomorrow, 40 with that rainstorm mixed in on Monday. And look at these temperatures. They rise all the way into the 50s by Wednesday. Looking good on Wednesday. Okay, Matt, thank you. And remember, you can always get the latest news and weather headlines right here on CBSPhilly.com. I'm Jan Carabeo. Have a great day.